hello everyone welcome to heel charm shine in today's video we are going to see what messages angels and ancestors have for you for your love life oh, please pick uh, the pile that resonates most to you i have kept uh, three cards open in front of you so you can um, choose the pile as per either the picture or the message which is the which is written with the picture and uh, we will start with pile one welcome pile one let's see what messages we have for you Wow, lovers, good, beautiful. Five of Wands, Knight of Swords. Okay. Just give me a minute, pile one. Let me see what messages are coming in. Okay, one message I'm getting is uh, for someone, I don't know for who, but uh, this is specifically for someone. Uh, one message which is not related to love actually, but health, uh, that uh, someone needs to drink more water. Water Guardian is telling me that someone drinks a lot of Cokes, diet Cokes and all those zero sugar, low calorie cold drinks and soft drinks and sodas and which are really not good for you you need to drink more water so that was specifically for someone if it is you please uh, drink more water for you your body is your body needs water the angels are telling me to tell you to hydrate yourself drink more water than you and that is going to help you improve your health drastically Anyways, that was only for someone specific. Let's go ahead and see what messages, what love messages the angel and ancestors are giving me for pile one. Uh, pile one, you might be fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And uh, I even see Gemini. Gemini uh, over here. Uh, Pylvan, I can see that you recently went through some dis disagreements, some disappointments, some tension in your love life, which has left you feeling broken. Now, you may have either ended your previous relationship, like a complete break off, complete uh, end of a relationship. Or for some people, you have separated to cool off. You are into a cool off period where you are still interested in reconcile, reconcile, reconciling with your, sorry, with uh, getting back with your, I couldn't say that word, I don't know why, to getting back with uh, your partner. But uh, you need some time to cool off. And... Uh, take as it resonates uh, this is a general reading so every message is not going to apply to everyone now let's see uh, in both cases actually the angels and ancestors are telling you to embrace the energy of peace in both cases either you have broken up completely or you are just taking a break <laughs> like on friends ross and rachel goes on a goes for on a break that kind of or you have completely broken off you just don't want to continue with that 
with that relationship anymore in either cases the angels are telling me that you need to embrace the energy of peace now what exactly how exactly you can do that because i do know how difficult heartbreaks are or how difficult uh, disappointment in relationships are and uh, i really i'm sorry to say the sorry to see that you're going through this but the but the messages which are coming in are pretty positive for you it is not only pain it is not only disappointment there there is a positive transformation which is coming for you we'll get to that let's see what uh, messages first we are getting from the broken arrow embrace the energy of peace if you have been exposed to a situation in which you have felt the need to protect yourself or defend what you really what you feel is right know that this is now coming to an end the the struggle the disappointment the pain is coming to an end with the arrival of broken arrow card you are being guided to know that the energies of light are entering to wash away all the darkness you can drop your shields and protection you are now in a situation that will honor you and honor your needs arguments are ending and disagreements are being resolved prepare to talk things through and offer the peace that you would like to enjoy in order to move forward in more fearless way it's important for you to let go of the idea that you can be hurt by the situation or the people or people involved because this will only work against you you cannot be controlled by a situation or people involved you are leaving this energy you are coming out of this this bro broken and a broken arrow energy this conflict this five of wands kind of energy you are coming out of this and you are coming out fast you are transforming into someone different someone better this experience which you went through was a karmic lesson it was important for your growth and uh, let's see after this period of conflict you might start a new relationship for those who have completely broken off with their uh, pre with their uh, ex with their previous partner or you may start a new phase of your existing relationship for those who still want to continue with their partner take as it resonates it is a general reading after all it will not match everyone and every situation the angels and ancestors are guiding you to embrace the change as it is happening as per the divine plan this is happening as per the divine plan you are, you need to embrace the change this was important for you this was necessary for you and it is happening as per the divine plan it is it was something which you could have not avoided uh, you could have not done something different and get another get a different result this was meant to happen you may have been through many challenges and lows but now you are in a space of transformation so the shape shifter card tells us you are moving beyond your past challenges and honing honing your uh, current strength there are opportunities for you to discover and rediscover the gifts and talents that you are being you are born with and born to share all of your past experiences have only helped you see how strong you really are you are an amazing soul who can change and transform in ways that people least expect you have many talents that you will share in your lifetime you are guided to stay focused on the light knowing that it will guide you forward when this card arrives there's also an opportunity for you to tap into the power of your spirit animal now if you are seeing a particular animal regularly then uh, try to find out what that what that message is because it's medicine is coming to you 
Spirits and anim spirit animals are very powerful. I connect strongly with spirit animals, especially wolf. And you have this wolf and eagle both showing. Even you have a rabbit over here, and you have wings, lots of wings. So birds, lots of wings in your. You have lion behind this king of wands. You have a uh, that the you have a horse over here. So mainly this card is telling you to consider if you if you're getting a message from your from animal spirits if you see a particular animal uh, uh, repetitively in maybe on internet in real life in uh, if you're in a in a book in a magazine we are just watching seeing some pictures of the animal or the particular animal even in your dreams then try to find out what message that animal is giving you uh, google up the message the animal spirit guide message and you might find a solution you are looking for you might find something which you are which you need to understand which you need to concentrate on so do check it out it will definitely help you move ahead of the negative energy and transform in, and shape shift into the stronger person you are meant to be when you embrace the change you transform into the powerful person you are meant to be you are going through the period of conflict because it is necessary to help you shape shift into divine counterpart of your true love your divine counterpart is a strong person is someone who is who has done the work who has gone through the transformation themselves and uh, to match that energy to become someone who is uh, worthy of that love you also need to go through this you also you are also going through this transformation now this union which we are talking about the union which is coming in it can be your uh, a new relationship or a new phase in your existing relationship this union is a guided union and angels are bringing you this new opportunity in love angels are bringing you this new opportunity and uh, uh, and that is why you went through a huge transformation that has helped you connect with your emotions you are going through this transformation to connect with your emotions connect with your heart connect with your soul once you connect with your emotions then you attract in fresh new energy a fresh new energy you are attracting how will you attract after you connect with your emotions after you heal your heart after you like uh, understand what messages the angels are trying to give you through maybe synchronicities maybe animal messages a new energy is coming in spring is all about new energy and it's coming in fast now this person who's coming in is an ambition action oriented driven passionate person and he's rushing to or sorry they are rushing towards you this person is a fast thinker they are a fast thinker sword is all about your mind your thoughts they have their heart and eyes set on you this night is moving towards a target and that target sorry that target is you and uh, what else uh, now this person is a natural born leader they are financially well off they are stable they are financially well off they might be at an authoritative position they have an ambitious vision for the future 
now they uh, and that vision includes you this ambitious person this person has an ambitious vision and that vision includes you they are passionate about their job they are passionate about their career they are ambitious they are doing well in their career they are well settled they know where they want to be and they are in that job and they need to bring in their counterpart which is you in their life so that they can bring a balance in their personal life as well not only their professional life and they are coming towards you they believe that you are the right person for them if you are not currently in this in this strong position where you can attract someone like king of wands then you are going through the transformation you need to release you need to let go you need to heal this in energy and then you can transform into the person who would attract someone like the stable king of wands now this can be a male or a female it doesn't matter the gender in this these cards don't matter whatever you are interested in take as it resonates and now let's uh, let me uh, read through the book what uh, the water guardian and the spring cards are telling you first we'll go to the spring card spring see your seeds grow embrace the change you are going through transformation you are going through change the the spring card is telling you to embrace the change that is on the horizon allow your dreams to become reality you are ready to bring all of your ideas inspiration and projects into reality when this card appears you are moving into a space that allows you to really grow expand and create in a way that you have never done before there are opportunities for abundance including financial growth if you are starting something new prepare for a major expansion in your life and soul when the spring card arrives in the future position in the future position of the spread or as the last card in a reading it can also indicate that the coming spring will assure in important energies with regard to your question or intention the spring spring is spring is uh, coming right so it is bringing in new opportunity the hair over here the also is a symbol also is a animal messenger of fertility of growth or ex of expansion rapid expansion actually it also is uh, an animal messenger of luck wolf will help you heal overcome and transform eagle will help you set your eyes on a higher target set your eyes higher it will help you rise above soar above the negative energy the horse is helping you move ahead move swiftly move towards what you want so this is a pretty positive reading if you have went through some disappointments in your relationship don't worry because the reading is pretty positive it is come it is going to be good good days are coming it is definitely you are coming out of that winter the pain the disappointment the and you are and you are going to experience new beginnings new opportunities now let's see the card you chose your pile card connect with your emotions let's see what that card has this message what message you have okay 
connect with your emotions water guardian take time to understand how you really feel know that your security is not oh, sorry sensitivity is not a curse but a gift that allows you to receive and understand messages directly from your soul your angels want you to know that it is okay to feel the emotions that are surfacing in you at this time it doesn't matter if you if they are joyous or sad they are all powerful messages that allow you to understand what you want and need taking time to breathe and acknowledge them lets them flow through you rather than crashing down on you as an overwhelming wave note that there are also intuitive psychic messages arising in you at this time and unless you acknowledge everything as it comes you may miss important guidance that can lead you to support and love your emotions are leading you towards an abundant life towards love towards support and i am really happy for you this is a powerful reading i really think that you are doing pretty well mm, even if uh, you are going through some challenges right now you will strongly overcome them follow your intuitions try to understand the meaning behind the synchronicities the guidance you are receiving and things will work out for you my best wishes are with you do let me know what you think about this reading and uh, have a wonderful day thank you i'll start with pile 2 welcome pile 2 in today's video we are going to see what uh, messages angels and ancestors have for you regarding your love life pile 1 was all about transformation now let's see what messages pile 2 is getting uh you chose this card the high priestess it's a beautiful powerful card shaman okay trust in higher power forces another highly spiritual hunter track down your fears and desires lord okay take charge with authority wow page of wands emperor okay this and this looks so similar synchronicity these two are the same actually hierophant okay hierophant the counterpart of high priestess that's beautiful that's nice seven of pentacles okay right just give me a minute pile two let me see what messages are coming in okay okay even this and this is same shaman and hierophant almost same these two are exactly same these two are almost same okay very strong pile very strong pile okay let's see pile 2 what messages are coming in we have strong masculine energy now that doesn't mean that uh, you are a um, male or you identify as a male no the masculine energy within you is strong right now we have both feminine and masculine energies in everyone and all of us so it doesn't matter these genders on the on the cards don't matter they are just talking about energies not about the actual gender so you could you can be a uh, you uh, maybe you identify as a female or you identify as a male doesn't matter you are trying to attract a female or you are attract, trying to attract a male whatever it is it these cards are talking about the masculine energy within you not about the gender not about your gender not about your partner's gender the energy everybody has masculine and feminine energy yin and yang the balance 
which is very much needed for to function in the world and uh, both the energies are important for us both these energies help us live a, a beautiful life so don't pay so when i talk about the emperor or the lord or the hierophant or even about the high priestess don't think about uh, i'm talking about the gender of that card or that person we i'm talking about the energy the masculine energy within you even if you identify as a woman identify as a female you still have a masculine energy and that energy is pretty strong in this cards now currently in your life that energy is strong let's see what messages i'm getting uh an emperor a lord these both are alpha these both are pretty strong they are authoritative they are powerful and that kind of person is coming towards you in love you are attracting that kind of person you are calling in you are attracting sorry that kind of person in your life let's see now i can see uh this person who is coming in is not only powerful in his career or in their career but in their career in their finances but also in spirituality they are spiritually they are spiritually awakened and know how to work with the spiritual energies they know how to work with the higher forces with the spiritual energies they know law of attract they know how to use law of attraction uh, that would make them the strong person they are they know how to use their spiritual knowledge they have done a lot of work they have worked hard to reach this position they have studied hard they have researched hard they also might be interested in these kind of readings they also might be interested in uh, gaining knowledge in re- in even in religion not only spirituality they might also be interested in religion and they are uh, looking for a new beginning they are passionate about it they are strongly strongly interested in finding their counterpart finding the person who is same just like them who is spiritually awakened who is financially stable who is authoritative who is powerful because uh, we have both the high priestess and the hierophant sorry uh and um, so this is a union of equally powerful masculine and feminine energy a true power couple so you or your partner that is coming in might be taurus aries or capricorn i can see these signs over here and uh, maybe currently you are not feeling that strong you are not feeling that powerful you are even thinking that maybe this is not my pile i should change but no wait stop just give me a minute just let me help you see what exactly is happening maybe you don't feel strong you don't feel powerful or you are not looking at the bigger picture you feel that you are small you are not as powerful or strong or you do not resonate with this power couple energies but no wait strong this fear this doubt which is coming in your mind is not true it is not showing you what is coming in actually so uh, first uh, you need to stop underestimating your own power you are very powerful these cards are not something which are giving me any kind of weak energy it is extremely powerful 
and uh, if you have chosen the high priestess then you are definitely a powerful person you are definitely becoming the powerful person uh, so just a minute angels are telling me that divine has gifted you with a lot of mystic powers and you should trust in the higher forces because they clearly want you to work with them you they want you to work with these spiritual forces these uh, higher forces these uh, divine powers these mystic powers they want you to work with them they want you to study them they want you to understand them they want you to work with them okay just a minute oh, this moved a bit um these uh, mystic powers these higher forces see that you are true potential and uh, they see what your true potential is maybe you don't feel it right now because it it might be in that this energy might be your future energy but they see it for them past present future is all same they are not may they know what you are uh, what you can become what your potential is definitely your uh, own like you have a choice you can either stay in this energy or you can become this spiritually and materialistically power person the choice is yours and you can go to that by study by research by understanding the law of the law of the universe by understanding spirituality by understanding what you are meant to be why you have given this opportunity why these strong energies are interested in you by understanding your true potential so the angels over here the ancestors these strong forces they are calling you to step into your energies to step into your potential to take charge to take authority the angels and ancestors are telling you to focus on your long term goals long term goals not your current situation not what is happening right now but your long term goals they want you to work towards creating a position that would provide sustainable results they want you to study opportunities for long term investments now they this can be money or this can be in your spirituality the study can be actually investing money or investing time in your self care in your personal growth in your personal development in both ways you should look towards long term goals not what is happening right now you should look at the bigger picture and um, now you need to invest your time or your money or both in such areas that would help you become the lord the emperor you are meant to be you need to understand that you have the ability to manifest the life of your desires study the law of attraction meditation visualization practice journaling be careful of what you talk what you say because it might come true so be careful about your self talk become aware what you talk to yourself if you say anything negative about yourself if you 
हैव नेगेटिव थॉट्स नेगेटिव फीलिंग्स नेगेटिव एनर्जीज स्पेशली अबाउट योर सेल्फ यू नीड टू रिमूव दैट इफ यू नीड इफ समथिंग इज मूविंग आउट ऑफ योर लाइफ लेट इट गो इट विल हेल्प इन योर ग्रोथ you currently have a powerful manifestation ability and that's why it is important to stay in a positive mindset because whatever you're thinking about whatever you're saying whatever you're talking whatever you're writing is going to come true so you need to be very careful about this manifestation ability negative positive anything manifests the universe doesn't see what you are talking about they talk they your word is powerful right now you have a mystic you have the mystic power so use it in a way that will help you become the lord become the emperor become the high priestess become the hierophant that you are meant to be trust in the higher powers don't give any energy to your doubts to your fears hunt them down remove them eliminate them from your life now how can how can you work with your higher forces higher energies we will see that in the shaman card i would re- read from the book trust in your angels guides and ancestors if you have given your power away claim it back okay there are spiritual allies working in your favor and their miracles will unfold much more easily when you move into a state of trust so call back your power and stop allowing external forces to divert you from the miracles you deserve hand over all your concerns to your spiritual allies when you do so you allow them to send you initiative guidance and messages that will allow you to correct this situation and come out of on top the shaman card also shows that you have shamanic potential to move between the realms and connect with your guides in an extremely personal way beautiful shaman is such a powerful energy and just like high priestess it is calling you to connect with your powers with your higher forces once you learn how to do this then you will be able to hunt down your fears and completely remove them and that's why you got this hunter card let's see what the hunter card has to tell you the hunter card tells you to track down all of your fearful thoughts and feelings when you find them you will find your desires too when you remove these thoughts of fear doubt you make place for th- for your desires for all the positive things that are rushing in that are coming in instead of being hunted down by your fears or other feelings that you have buried become the hunter you are being given confidence and strength you definitely have a lot of confidence and strength there is no doubt in that you are so use your power to make a difference you are not here to cover away or live in the shadows definitely you are not here to live in the shadows such powerful energy cannot live in the shadows it is like trying to cover the sun no you cannot live in the shadows you are meant to shine you are a powerful person and the person you are attracting is also similarly powerful a true power couple very strong reading and uh, when this card arises there could be an opportunity to face an aspect of your past or bring closer to a situation that will be haunting you so that is what the hunter card is telling you that 
track down your fears and desire fears and attract or bring in your desires that's a beautiful card that blue in the blue color in the hunter card is so attractive so beautiful the blue color maybe the person you're attracting in has similar blue eyes captivating blue eyes the eyes that can like go into your soul reach your soul like they can see within your soul you get draw you feel like you lose all your senses when you look into these eyes captivating determined powerful eyes beautiful personality a beautiful person is coming in and i am so happy for you let's see what more messages we are getting the emperor moves with authority the emperor he moves with authority the emperor follows strict structure to achieve success the lord is someone who others respect who others look up to and you are encouraged to see yourself become such a powerful person so that you can attract a similar counterpart or a person who is your counterpart you need to become the person they deserve you need they have already done the work you need to meet them by vibrating at their level the lord and the high priestess oracle cards are further guiding you to harness mystic powers with authority now let's see what the lord is saying don't be afraid to take charge or use your voice be strong take charge use your voice don't think you are not good enough or you cannot achieve this believe in your power trust in your power you have to take control in order to be honored if you feel that your kindness or gifts are being taken for granted it's time to change that there is no excuse for bad behavior and the ancestors are encouraging you to hold your ground and speak your mind in fiercely loving way you have the energy and the might to overcome dramas or energies that aren't working for your growth and it's time to take charge before you find yourself in a situation you don't want to be in you are being encouraged to be the boss instead of being bossed if you are being bossed if you are being bullied then you there is no reason for someone to bully you you are such a strong person you need to take charge you need to show authority be loving be kind but don't take anybody's anybody's bullshit or sorry if i'm saying that word don't take anybody's bad behavior now let's see what the high priestess which the card you the card you chose let's see what it what message it has high priestess harness mystic power align with the light and focus on the th- all all things positive you are mystic with the capacity to connect with energies that go beyond the human senses within you is a force of magic that is directed by your will there is an opportunity for you to rise up at this time but it requires dedication and discipline dedication and discipline structure which the emperor follows you are being guided to look at what you are working on or on at the situation before you are determined where your priorities lies if you are unable to figure that out you must use your intuition and discernment to focus on what you bring what will bring you closer to your goals and the happiness of everyone involved when this card arrives it's also important for you to check in with your intuition as it will give you guidance that will be important for your growth that's it pile 2 very strong message a lot of lot of positive messages you are being called in to trust your higher power 
and harness your mystic power become the lord who has authority who has structure who has discipline study research and hunt down your desires and fears sorry hunt down your fears so that you can bring in your desires a very powerful powerful person is coming in in your life i'm very happy for you and i hope you understand your true potential and work on it and become the powerful couple you are meant to be i hope you like the reading do let me know like share comment and uh, please subscribe and do give me feedbacks if you have any any suggestions for the for readings and i'll see you in the next reading and uh, i'll start with the pile 3 now welcome pile 3 you chose this beautiful card oracle now let's see what messages the angels and ancestors have for you for your love life oracle wait for important information star and sisters follow the voice of your soul okay the information's voice similar messages or oh, moon the peacemaker the peacekeeper sorry let go of the need to be right moon take note of initiative messages message 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 follow the voice important information initiative message similar energy similar guidance okay twin flames 11 11 soulmates Okay, magician. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Magician, oracle, moon. We have a full moon on twentieth, twentieth. Uh, full moon in Leo, which is the actually the first full moon in twenty twenty one. and uh, it's a day to release it's a day to remove it's day to let go what doesn't serve us so that we make space for what is meant for us what we desire what we deserve what we want to come in so take note of initiative messages this full moon is important for you If you know how to do full moon rituals, I'm going to make a video on that. Actually, if you know how to do that, follow those. May do that rituals. It is important for you. Let's see what messages we are getting. I will um, try to guide you as much as possible for this, and I'll make a detailed full moon video um, so that. Uh, if you need to know what kind of rituals you can do something simple something effective something good something easy to do okay pile 3 you chose this beautiful oracle card and uh, the moon card is just getting taking all my attention right now let's see that first the moon card it it is telling you to take note of initiative messages and uh, the angels and ancestors are clearly advising you to release everything that does not serve you especially on this full moon how can you do this full moon ritual and release everything um release all the negativity all everything which you don't want which you want out of your life write it down on a piece of paper and uh, burn that paper release that paper burn that paper and release that energy under the full moon you can even be indoors you don't have to be outdoors you don't have to be because it is not possible for everyone to be outdoors 
so you if you can be in, near your window in your balcony somewhere where you can feel the moon energy don't worry move on a full moon day the moon energy is everywhere even if you can't see the moon even if the moonlight is not coming inside you will still be able to uh, work with the energies i am making a detailed video i'll tell more about it in that but the the least as the moon card has come in your pile the least information i can give you the minimum thing which you can do is write down whatever you don't want and burn that paper release that energy be careful while doing it don't keep any unattended fire or a candle burning release that energy see that you are burning the entire paper and uh, releasing that thoughts and when you are doing it just like this oracle card close your eyes and imagine that is going away from your life that it is remove it is getting removed it is getting cleansed just like this this oracle card this beautiful person this beautiful lady over here looks like she is doing the release ritual looks like she is removing the snake look is telling me that trans remove your uh, shed your old skin remove whatever is not important for you whatever is holding you back okay uh when you release all this negativity from your life then uh, even the peace i didn't see this even the peace keeper card is telling us to let go of the need to be right so let go the the peace keeper is also telling you to let go you need to remove a lot of lot of things a lot of things are creating an illusion a fog in your mind and you need to release that even if it is your need to be right even if you get into arguments and try to make your point even if the it is that you need to let it go it is it, don't waste your energies on unimportant things because the star ancestors you are a star seed you have ancestors these star ancestors they are telling you to focus on the beautiful picture on the bigger picture and let go petty things let go petty desires to be right to argue if you are doing that then you need to release that so i will go in details with the peacekeeper card okay i'll read it from the book the peacekeeper choose peace and happiness over the need to be right rather than trying to prove a point save your energies for what's important <laughs> exactly what i said and this peacekeeper has this powerful animal in behind her like uh, this is looks like a buffalo i guess it's a buffalo right i am not sure please let me know if i'm wrong and uh, this is a powerful this talks about abundance see look at the breath which is coming out releasing exhaling just like this energy you may be feeling on edge due to a stressful situation there's a warrior within you that wants to rise up prove your point and get the truth across but you're being reminded by ancestor wisdom ancestors your star ancestors that truth will always be revealed in the end it's more important at this time to avoid arguments or heated decisions where you know you're you'll be fighting a losing battle there is much more power in choosing to move forward from a higher perspective this will allow you to connect deeply to the guidance within and intuitions guidance within and intuitions guidance within and intuitions that will lead you towards the healing of the whole situation 
along with any wounds it may have inflicted on you choose peace you know it's calling you you also know this right you also know that you need to choose peace you need to let go arguments and petty uh, like reasons of being right and all uh, wasting your energies on what is not important you also know that you need to let go so trust that the star ancestor card tells you that your ancestors from where you originally came you might be a star seed uh, find out uh, more about star seeds if you are interested in there is a lot of information on the net the doubt is more in your uh, the doubt this doubt is more in your head it's not important it's not what is needed in your life so the star ancestors what are they saying that they are calling you out to follow the voice of your soul they are telling you to think more with your with uh, from your soul like they are calling you out they want you to come out of this like being very logical being very practical just uh, not uh, knowing your true potential your creative potential not knowing who you truly are what you are truly meant, meant to be and uh, the star ancestors what are they saying what more messages we are getting from them i'll again check the book i read the book because it gives a detailed explanation about the card and i want you to get all the messages every message will not resonate with everyone it is a general reading but if it is meant for you i want it to reach you and that's why i'm reading the book all the time because that is how you will know everything about the card now beautiful blue energy lot of throat chakra so heal your throat chakra in don't go into arguments don't argue with anyone don't waste your energy there you have bigger better things to do now star ancestor is telling you to follow your the voice of your soul throat chakra voice of your soul you need to balance your throat chakra heed the massage messages coming directly from your soul you need to become more in you need to go more inwards understand what your soul is trying to tell you what your heart is trying to tell you what your purpose is why you came on this earth on this planet why you have this life understand that there is a deeper purpose to your human journey not only were you born on purpose you were born for a purpose you were born to be a bright light in the world and there are supporters out there in the universe sending waves of energy to guide you at this time information and inspiration that has been coming your way recently is not new information but memories your feelings of being drawn in a particular direction are the awakening of an aspect of your soul you are being drawn towards a road that will not only light up you but also help you light up your corner of the world continue following the cosmic guidance that is coming your way so you are meant to become someone who will not only light up their own world but they will also light up world of many people become the shining light become a light worker a teacher a mentor a role model for many people so maybe you are into something which is based on communication because look at the blue over here and your ancestors are calling you to follow your soul's voice your heart's voice 
don't just think with your mind with your logical mind no follow your emotions moon is all about emotions about subconsciousness inish inti intuitions okay you can become a magician and create the life of your dreams only if you stop focusing on the wrong things focusing on many things and focus on what actually matters see there are seven cups over here and there is lot of illusion dream confusion fog around these seven cups you are currently focusing on a lot of things many things you need to focus only on one cup on something in most important something should take priority and then you will pull in this energy this energy of twin flame this energy of divine counterparts this energy of soulmate this energy of matrimonial bliss by focusing on one thing at a time and remove confusion okay there was uh, what more i can see over here mm. remove everything which is unnecessary this let go or the moon uh, ritual this oracle these all cards are telling even this card they are all telling us to remove which is unnecessary and focus only on something which is important remove all all that does not serve you and focus on that one task one goal one area of your life that will bring you closer to your divine counterpart you know that very well you need to remove the clutter you know what exactly you need to do the four of wands this card is the card of marriage it's a card of celebration it is 11 11 twin flame soulmate and you know what you need to focus on to create this reality into your life if you don't if you are still confused then i would highly strongly suggest you to consider meditation especially early in the morning wake up as early as you can 5 o'clock 6 o'clock and sit and stay calm just concentrate on your breath and try to bring in more clarity remove this confusion and bring in more clarity okay by doing this by waking up early and meditating you will also connect with your star ancestors who are clearly interested in connecting with you you will also connect with them and they will make you make it easy for you to understand the voice of your soul they will make this journey easy for you they will remove all the clutter they will make this work easy for you they will guide you they will help you they will remove a lot of obstacles from your life you would get the intuitive messages to manifest your ideal partner in this meditation in the even if you can't meditate if you can't sit straight then journal journaling is also a kind of meditation for me if i can't sit straight if i can't meditate for any reason i would just start writing down whatever feelings are coming in my mind just do scripting write down as fast as you can as uh, whatever is coming in your mind you don't have to take care of grammar you don't have to take care of punctuation you don't have to take care of your handwriting just take a pen paper pencil and keep writing dump down all your emotions all your thought on that paper and you will see a lot of clarity coming in your mind when you write all your thoughts all your feelings then you remove that from your mind 
and that is one way to release and that's why we do the moon rituals of burning the paper and that is one strong way to release your confusion the fog fogginess the wishful thinking the dream stage and bring what you want into reality i am making a moon video moon ritual video right after this and if you are watching this pile i would highly suggest you follow that as well you might you might find other ritual videos also on youtube there are many amazing people sharing a lot of wisdom and this wisdom is for free right so it is wonderful what we can achieve right now our ancestors of our uh, our elders didn't had this opportunity we are very lucky so study that and uh, do that ritual and it will definitely help you connect with the love that is coming in your life okay what else because this oracle card looks like she is doing the ritual it looks like she is releasing and that's why i'm telling you about this ritual again and again okay the as we are coming close to a full moon then the lunar energies are strong around us and uh, they have a lot of uh, like they are coming up strongly in your reading they affect us greatly especially you because you got this card okay now i would go more into details about this card just give me a minute yeah the moon use your intuition practice discrim discernment see through illusions and blockage illusions and blockage see through it remove it lunar energy energies are surrounding your life allowing you to understand what is standing in your way not everything is as it seems and you are being guided to use your dis discernment when the moon appears initiative or psychic urges are increased so take note of any feeling arising at this time they are messages from your soul and angels the moon shines her light on all that has been kept in the dark so ask yourself if you are avoiding anything or refusing to deal with something important something of importance if so it could be holding you in the shadow when your destiny is to be in the light your destiny is to be in the light your destiny is to sh shine like a star so come out of this fog come out of this shadow if this card appears when you feel someone isn't being completely real with you know that their intention will be revealed to you if someone is hiding something from you if you are doubtful that someone is not real someone is uh, uh, keeping some secrets from you then don't worry the moon is telling you that it will be revealed to you the moon has no secrets she reveals all yes the moon is very pow powerful energy i love working with the powerful energies of the moon and um, she is going to help you move into the ability the magician ability that will attract bring in this true love the moon the star ancestors the oracle card all three cards are telling you to go within and getting an initiative message uh getting your message from your soul a clear information from your heart from your soul from your higher self now let's see the card the oracle card which you chose let's see what messages it has for you oracle be open and receive receptive to information gather facts so that you can make a decision that is in line with your integrity and that's why we do the morning meditations or the journaling scripting to be open to receive messages 
you sit there and invite these messages invite this information to come in angels ancestors and the universe are speaking to you at this time so look and listen for important conversation signs and messages that will point you in the right direction you are being guided to wait for your for more information before making any fast moves because at the moment you are letting your wants get the in the way of your needs there is an opportunity for you to see everything clearly at this time but you will be able to do so if you are willing to truly open your eyes remove the illusion truly open your eyes if you have been waiting for further information about a choice yes a choice you have choices over here you have to make or action you have to take don't take matters in your own hand but let what needs to be revealed with be revealed then you will know what to do next angels are supporting you trust them trust your guides trust your angels trust these ancestors let go of any need to hold on what does not serve you focus on that one thing release remove everything else and you will be this magician this powerful magician who has infinite abilities to manifest the life they desire and the love that is coming in is true love is a soulmate is a twin flame is a twin flame collection it is a connection which your ancestors want you to have which the divine wants you to have so it's a beautiful reading do let me know what you think about this please like share subscribe and uh, if you have any suggestions or any um requests for further readings do let me know i hope you enjoyed this and uh, see you in my next video thank you